Hello fellow game makers and welcome back to another tutorial and today won't be a tutorial actually because I will just break down this terrain I made in gear so let's get started. Also if you like this video may consider subscribing and liking this video because it would really help me to continue making more videos like this one. This time it's just a breakdown because now I can go a bit more in depth how I did some of the stuff you can see right here. This time I started it with a dunes node and I think that's, yeah, actually I'd quite like to use primitives that aren't typical for the terrains I want to use, I want to create. So a dunes node fit perfectly right here. And I think I pretty much kept to the original form you can see right here. I then just applied a bias gain to lower it all. And then I eroded it in two ways to make it a bit more natural. So first of all, a terminal to get the sediment you can see right here and then a erosion to just get those yeah those river like things and then I combined those to get both uh, highlights I wanted so basically just the sediment right here and the those lines I then used a flow map to apply rocks and yeah you can see them right here they are just to again make a bit more of this, um, to get a bit more natural look and just to make it a bit more interesting. Again, I then used a rock slide with a breaker to get those extreme cracks in here. And I did this again, but this time with a different method because I again wanted two different methods and then combining them again. And with the landform, I pretty much completely destroyed the terrain. Um, but that's okay, because you can get some nice detail of it. And together with a fluval to make those, yeah, basically those rivers here, you can simulate how water would run through it. Yeah, so you can make those a bit nicer. Uh, again, combine them together and you can get this terrain. But of course, um, we now need to apply some sort of snow, so the snow node would help us out and I think I put the duration up a bit so that those uh, those cracks in here fill up a bit and now you can see them a bit through but they're just a bit subtle effect so that's nice the coloring was actually pretty easy because I just used two set maps and the first one is pretty much the main color again I used the snow port right here and I then get the snow and the mountain separated. And the mountain I quite liked, but I think there is not enough detail in there. It's just one color. So I used again a flow map to get this mask. And I used it on a sad map to get this grainy look. Again, I wouldn't use this alone. So I used the snow output and inverted it to get a mask and mix those set maps together so that I get this um, this grungy effect just on the mountain sides. So we have this a bit jittery effect and I think that fits quite nicely. Of course you could now add cracks if you want to but I'm um, not this time because I want to have some variation in my project. And that's basically it how I created this terrain. I hope you liked this small little breakdown this video is also a bit shorter and next week's video also is going to be a bit shorter because it's Christmas vacation right now and I do not have so much time right now. So till then, Merry Christmas.